TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Y'all see this warning, man. Following presentation intended for mature audience. It contains graphic descriptions and crime scenes. Adult dialogue. This is where it really counts. Adult dialogue and strong language. Viewer discretion and advice. Y'all see all of that. And it ain't even that serious of a video, man. This would be comedy to me, man. I love me some Cheyenne, though, man. If I could ever meet Cheyenne and take her out. You know, I'm toxic, but hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying. I'm, 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 I'm reformed. I'm trying to be a better version of my old self. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I, in this episode. I'm gonna answer whatever questions that you ask him myself. So you gonna have all the, all you need. <laughs> you feel me? Hey, just invite me on the show. All right, oh, there wasn't actually any red flags. Wow, this is grilling. Come on, show play LV. Hey, LV, hold on. I was. This is. <laughs> what is this? Grilling. Gotcha. Come on, shop by LV General. Lump it, slump it. My brothers don't eat crumpets. Um, I'm just here to have a quick date, mate. Do you know what I mean? I've seen Shine doing her thing. Don't really know her. Y'all ever seen the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? It reminds me of Carlton Banks. But all my mates have come on. So I thought, you know what? Let me give Who it a go. She might like me better. Can I, can I answer what I want to answer as well, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's sweet then. No, I'm not a one night type of guy at all. I'm a more of a relationship Arsenal type fan. of guy. <laughs> I'm a one night type of guy. I don't care. Come on, let's get to it. Ask me, I'm. I'm. If I like the date, then we're bubbling. If I feel like I'm just. Woof. Hello. Well, go on. Hi, Cheyenne. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet yeah, you. LV. LV. Hello. Well, go on. Hi, Cheyenne. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet yeah, you. LV. LV. Or Augustine, if, if it sounds better for you. Oh, what do you prefer? No, I don't mind. You can call me by LV or Augustine. So okay. Like, well, my, real, my real name is Augustine, so. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, woof. That one there's mad. I ain't seen the bottom on her, but she's definitely got a pretty face on her, so she's good looking. Oh, that was a nice introduction. This is Ragatonic. Yep. It's tonic wine. It's quite strong. My flavour is the black grape. Okay. And yours is cherry. Oh, all yeah. right. Let me check. Do you wanna... Cherry, ill. Give me black grape like you. I'll oh. try mine before I sip it. No, 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 I'll go on the eating. Yeah. Strong. Raw. I got simply lemonade mixed with a little Sprite, mixed with a little. <laughs> this mixed with a little. Uh, 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 dang, what's that tequila called? The good one that everybody be buying, Casamigos. So, let me, matter of fact, let me get right. Let me get presentable. My bad, Cheyenne. Hold on, Shy. LV, I don't care what you do. By the way, Cheyenne, I'm six foot two. I know that little that, that man behind, the man across from you, is not this. <laughs> and I'm coming with all the disrespect. Strong. She's got a mad kick to it. Papa, try this one. Raga. <laughs> hey, he's 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 he drinking after you and everything. He wants you. Yeah. Ooh. Do you want that one? That one bangs. Go on. You sure? Yeah. Can I hold it, yeah? Of course. Love. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ragaton. Yeah, this one's mad still. Little dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. It's got that vibe to it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so tell me about you. I'm an entertainer slash musician. Oh, I, I do a bit of music funny. as well. So yeah, man, I'm just I'm just trying to live a normal life. I've got two kids. So yeah, man, I'm just, you know, just out here. Oh, it's got kids. What do you do for I got one. Hold on, I'm trying to show you. Chill, 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 chill. 
You know what I'm saying? Good DNA. <laughs> All right. My bad. Have fun. It's a bit of everything. I'm spontaneous. The other day, I just bought a few bikes, like cycle, cycle bikes. We went riding, little bike riding through the woods or whatever. You rented? Like, got arcade, do a little paintballing or what. I'm just, I'm very spontaneous. Sometimes I like to just go for walks. And I've done fishing, by the way, the other day, which is a bit weird. I've never done fishing. I think that's cool. It's quite, yeah. like, peaceful. Yeah. I've never done it, but I, it seems peaceful. It's like they say it's, um, what's that word? Therapeutic. Therapeutic. So I'd... Thank you. So you say very putic, so I'm just like, right, okay, cool, let me see what he's saying. On there. Uh, I'm an entertainer. Um, I do reaction videos. Um, I, I hoop. I used to be a D1 athlete. <laughs> so anybody that want to hoop with me, you're not going to win. Um, right now, I'm trying to get back in physical top shape. Um, I'm already, I'm still strong, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, tell me a little bit about you, though. This ain't about me. This <laughs> is about you. And the rod, we're trying to catch fish, doing a madness in the water, but nothing's really going on. So I'm just thinking, like, right, why can't I get a fish? He just said, you've got to relax, take your time, throw it in, leave it. Hey, he's funny. He's funny. He knows the same thing I know. Funny guys be get. Fun if you're funny, you poor. And that's what I've done for like two hours. Yeah. And then I caught my first ever fish, like a massive fish. So I was gassed. You should do it one day. Have you, have you been fishing before? No, I've never been. You should do it. Me and you go fishing. Yeah, you enjoy that. yourself. No, I'm on a roll. We'll go fishing. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd that, be cool. That'll bang. Oh, he's Two minutes in, he got a second date. My oh, boy. It's really nice. What's your type? I don't want to be a little big head or nothing, but I think, I think she's actually bang on, man, still. I don't have a type. You know. I don't know why girls ask this question. I don't have a type, man. You could be Indian, Chinese, Turkish, black, white. I don't. I don't have a type. I, I, I'm into personalities. Same way. Me too, bro. Me too, Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Hey, shut. So if I see that. Thank you. Me too. You're bubbly. You can go out. You like to have a little bit of fun. You can make me laugh. Nah, them type of things. So. Yeah, just. Yeah. just be my peace, though. You don't, I don't want to hear deal with no attitude. Just a bit of character, yeah, do you know what I mean? Why do I always see you going on dates with a bagger, man? Uh, what's the problem about... What's, what's wrong with these guys? I was waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> your parents shouldn't be your best... Hey, chill out, Cheyenne. Nah, at this point, I'm full of disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm not. Yeah, my girl's waiting for me, man. There's a lot of girl waiting for me, but you see me? <laughs> my thing's private, man. I can't even talk too much. Girl, them just keep waiting. Hey, what yeah. turns you on, then? What turns me on? Mm -hmm. I've got to just be gassed. You've got to gas me. Like, not saying that like, showing skin and titty and batty and all that and that, but I'm saying that just how we get along is how it's going to end up. Do you know what I mean? If I feel like I'm bubbling a lot with you, we're bouncing off each other, that's a turn on in itself. You're right. Hey, bro is, bro is on it. Yeah, you're right. I feel the same way, LV. He is waffling. So if you've got the same nah, vibe... Nah, he's not waffling. ...and bouncing off each other's energies, then yeah, that's, that's a turn on in itself. Some, I'm stimulated by brain waves and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm at the age where, like, physical beauty is like, okay, you cool, you bad. There's a billion other females out here that are bad, too. What else up here can you offer me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know some bad females that are dummies. And I don't want no dummy, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm good. Let's just, you know, let's just vibe. Let's vibe off each other. Let me see how that goes. Now for the real all stuff. What turns you on? <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. That's a rap for the real all stuff. Why can't I stay intelligent today? Yeah, I love that. I love energies. Yeah. But I feel like there's something else. What actually turns you on, though? What gets you going? No, I like, I like, uh... You know what I'm saying? Hey, a good kisser gonna always get me because I don't like to kiss girls. But if we get to that stage and we mentally connected where we kiss, oh man, if you a good one, I'm in there. Well, you're in there. <laughs> we in there, look. <laughs> I can't even lie to you. If you're showing too much skin, then obviously man's gonna feel a certain way. You will notice. Oh, you'll really? See, yeah, you, you, I'm, I'm a shower, so mm -hmm. yeah. Should I go get changed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's yeah, feeling, like man, you. still. I can tell she's feeling, man. This is really like, bro. Bum or babes? All right, man, it's not really a bottom, man. I don't do bottom. You get me, like? Bottom man for me. I mean, pause, but, like, 
Buns. Cheekage, clappage. But I like to squeeze an ass now and then. I like, ooh, get a feeling of it, whatever. <laughs> but no, nah, I'm a boobs man, man. I like to suck breasts. Okay. <laughs> not, 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 not with the size of the man. I like the, hey. the nipple. The, the, there's certain things I like about it, so yeah. <laughs> oh, she likes to suck a nipple. <laughs> I'm not really into the batty like that. I'm more of a titty man. I want to see what's up front, like in my face. Like, ugh, they, they need to be seen. Do you know what I'm saying? I won't doggy you. I'd, it would be a missionary thing where I can look at you. That's cool, but even in the missionary, I'm grabbing butt from, <laughs> from that. All right. And we can see each other's faces while I'm, I'm you see it? So that, it's that settings. I'm oh, that's cute. I like that. You like that one, yeah? Yeah, it's a nice one. So what's your favorite position? Mm. <laughs> How did we get here? I don't know. Favorite. I don't want to guess, guess either. I don't, I don't want to guess. What do you think? You're like a feisty girl, you know? If I'm being real with you, you look very fat. Now I'm looking at you. I think she likes to be on top. I'm looking into you. I can see that there's a lot more to what I'm seeing. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Not in a bad way, but in a good way. Like, Answer the I question, can LV. You can be feisty when you're ready. I'm but I'm assuming, off. just from what I'm seeing, I feel like you're very feisty when it comes to the bed settings. Really? Yeah, I'm getting that fit. Let me go into that mode. <laughs> what am I? So, boom. Imagine the cards are out. Yeah? We're going to go spiritual. So put your hands in the middle for me, babes. Right here. All right, cool. He might be simping a bit, but I love a simp. Yeah? Okay. Let's just go deep into you. So you seem like that type of girl. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You're feisty, you like a little bit of a squeeze now and then. You get me? Don't mind a bit of in the balls. You get me? As long as man's doing something to you, but that's void for me. I'm not really what? the, I'm not really that type of guy. I'm not gonna go downstairs on you like that. It's what? That. Cheyenne, listen, hey, <laughs> that's buddy. You know what I'm saying? To your little Chicago, hey, <laughs> woo. Hey, my, hey, tag, hey, tag, listen. No, no, no. Why? No. I don't need to, my, my, my things does the work, he goes. No, no, that's not how women move the hook. Tell him, Shia. Downstairs and does all that. Loud arts in me, that man. I just told you a lot earlier, man. That's void. Don't, don't do that again. You see my thing? Funny. Yeah. It's in my slogan. We don't do it. Strike <sighs> one. That's what he's there for. That's why everything's set up that way. Mouth to mouth, chest to chest, ood to pumps, bum to bum. <laughs> so like that, but you don't eat No, I can't do that. But didn't you say only? To bum. Like that. But you don't eat No, I can't do that. But didn't you say only you like? Cheyenne, you need to find a man that do that for him. You feel me? That's for that's. You know what I'm saying? A certain level of you know what y'all not. Big bands out. Yeah, that's standard. Especially, do you know how much work I put in? Positions. There's so much moves going on, you ain't even got time for me to want to go and do that. You're just gonna, what's next? Put your legs above your head. It's all over the place. <laughs> like, like, you ain't got time for a man to be sitting there going, eating food. Eating what? It's long. I'm, not for me, love. I'm not. What? It's, so it's scary. It's scary. I, what, there is one position that I don't like still. If a girl gets on top of me, it's kind of long still. Why? But don't stand up. Because my brethren told me, like long, long time ago, big grown man. He's got That's when girls get, you know, they, they, you know, enjoy themselves the most. I was in bed with him, they were a bit drunk. She went on top of him and brought his odd. You didn't even know. Man carried on digging. What? <laughs> Doing his thing. Next morning, wakes up, puddle of blood, thought she was on her reds. It was his bleeding. She what? broke his. Yeah, during sex. No, no. Nah. She broke. <laughs> yes. This is one of the best grillings I've ever seen in my eye. Right. Yes, she missed. She's with heavy bottom. She's size 14. <laughs> Brocked his during sex. He didn't even know what was going on. Man's just there <laughs> pumping. No, surely not. Surely, yes. Next morning, boom. Bare blood on the bed, panicking. No, it's definitely. Oh. I reckon he just had a cake and it No, no, no. Dennis Rodman told a story one time where he broke his, his you know what I'm saying, too. It, it happens. It happens. That's no, that's, that's my phobia. So no, no girl out there will be riding me. So she can't sit on your, sit on your face? No, that's mad. Sit on face. Cheyenne, you moving crazy. This, the, the vernacular you just used was A1. Okay, talk about Face like toilet, low it. That's not, I that's mad. When did you last have sex? Uh, probably like a week ago. A week ago? Yeah. Do you have a lot of sex? No, I don't, you know. Yeah, a week ago, man was mashing up the place. I can't lie. 
The pumps was good. Yeah, add cushion to it, a bounce. But yeah, man, obviously, man, I, f yeah. I value my energy, man. I don't just like giving my energy to any female. You know what I'm saying? Just me personally. I'm at that age, like, I, my, my count is crazy. So it's like, you know. To do their thing in it, you got to let a nut out now and then. So what do you want out of life? Do you know what? I just want to be successful in life and, and just have the facilities to do things that I would like to do. And obviously open doors for my kids. My son, which is eight, and he's a footballer, he's a great baller. I feel like he's going to end up in the Prem one day, I don't know. And my, my daughter, which is um, turn, just turned 14, I feel like she is just going to be the you? next dancer out there doing her thing because she's really into dancing, like street dancing and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, yeah, I'm just trying to push them in the right direction. If they decide to want to do YouTube, which I have started myself, so if they want to get involved with stuff like that and put themselves out there, I'm going to be the person to do that. Oh, he seems like a good dad. Oh, and you said you do music? I'm a good dad too. Music? Yeah, I do a lot of music still. I might even drop a little track on there today if that's possible. I might drop a little feed on it. Yeah? I've got a diss track coming out. I'm not going to mention the names, but someone's about to get dissed. Oh, really? So, I know everyone's probably thinking, rah, who's this? Who's on the... Oh, no! Everyone's getting parole, but nah, man. It's going to be a bad boy one. If everyone knows that, how I spit bars, and it's a gram tune, by the way, so it's going to be a gram shellers. You see the diss track? I feel sorry for my man, yeah? There's a couple man I want to diss on the blood clot scene. <laughs> You've done already, LV always does these things, so. LV, Jamaican. Yeah, look out for that one, man. That one there is mad. It's a diss track still. I'm going to be dissing okay. one of the influencers. Cheyenne, do I follow you on YouTube? I mean, on Instagram? How do I? OK, keep going. This is them. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't tell me? Nah, I can't, man. I'd rather wait, so it's okay. a surprise. I might lose a couple of friends. Oh, really? Yeah. You're on smoke like that? I'm on smoke. I might lose a couple of friends, but it is what it is, man. I've got to try and get to where I'm trying to go to. My journey and right now is that, so, yeah. OK. So if we have a bad date, am I going to get a diss track? <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, no way, no way. I'm not, I'm not going after no girls, no, 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 I'm not like that. <laughs> um, so where are you from? What, national or...? Yeah, we're both. Jamaica. And my dad's Lewis from Grenada. Lewis, Jamaican. Nice. And where do you live? Um, Lewisham. Oh, what was your upbringing like? Excuse me, what kind of car you drive? Um, uh, a 24... Wow. Um, Lewisham. Ah, oh, what was your upbringing like? <sighs> wow. My upbringing was quite all right, you know. Like, I rolled around. Obviously, I was in a gang when I was in Lu when I grew up because in Lewisham is a bit of a rough area. Never got bullied, but it's just always me fighting the older boys. I don't know why. I just had something in me. Like rage where I just went like to... Like some the... complex I don't know. I think it's because of my older brothers. There's seven of us, so I'm the last one out of seven. Yeah, and I've got three sisters, three brothers, so... Found you, Cheyenne. I do not follow you. I do not. Who is this? Who is this? You know what? It's OK. It doesn't even matter. Somebody named Christopher. I'm going to go ahead and follow. Just, hey, Cheyenne, if you see this, just make sure we lock in. You know what I'm saying? You see me, the, the lit one is going to come across. It just came across right now. You won't see this, but you know. Tiger! My older brothers used to always like tussle with me oh, and do all that. So I just felt like my age group weren't ready for me. Yeah. So I'd always go for a man who's older to go into management of temper shit and at school sometimes because I'd just lose my cool. I don't know. I think it was more to do with wrestling. Me and this dude is the same person. I was a fan of WWE or WCW back then. Okay. So my thing was just and just do a mazza, do you get me? I used to puff like <laughs> <laughs> and then just go into a mad mode. I don't know what it was, but that's, that was my thing when I was, when I was um, at primary. So when I went into like teenager year now, like when 14, 15, I decided to go into a gang, which I shouldn't have probably, yeah. right, when I think about it now. Yeah. But at the time, it just felt like it was family and friends it is what it is. and people I can trust, and they had my back, I had theirs. My upbringing was a bit mad. I started doing things I shouldn't have done, started getting myself involved with whatever I shouldn't have, started f***ing gyal, <sighs> what I probably shouldn't have done as well. Um, and like, just, yeah, my, my head weren't in the right space. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, was, I started smoking. Yeah, but you were a kid. Like. Yeah, I, I didn't understand it. You know, I, I think I went to grow up too quickly. 
Because like, when you're young, you just want to be in. Right. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, because I looked older than my age, people say, you're a ringer, man. But I used to do rugby. I didn't play football first. My first ever sport I played was rugby. Aggressive. I was a bad boy rugby player. Like, I've, I ain't got the pictures to show you, but I've got bag of certificates doing Crystal Palace, going into this, that, and whatever, winning tournaments in my school, whatever. I, I, I was the guy. I did every sport furthermore. I did rugby, basketball, um, football. You ain't hoop, gang. Yeah. I bust your ass. You ain't hoop. Rounders, whatever it was, I was on it. Even cricket. I was, I'm, I'm just athletic. That's yeah. that type of guy at school. So That's what that. I was. So, where I was all into that, and then when it come back to now being away from school and on the streets and with my boys from my ends, it was just a bit different. We always running up in different areas, seeing news about man them's got beef because of postcodes, stupidness, do you know what I mean? See a man get axe in his head. There was a rave I went to. What? Yeah, let me tell you a little story. There was a rave I went to um, in Thamesmead. Um, you had to go past a lake. The rave's called Juice. So whoever knows about Juice, you know what I'm talking about right now. So yeah, rave called Juice. These boys were RA boys, so that stands for racist attack. Um, they had their own little gang in their area, but we also had our own. So we didn't know each other, but we used to go out there and draw the girls out there. There was a lot of girls in that club we used to like. So us boys used to all gather out and go to that club. Yeah, so little did we know, there was um, travellers in there, racist dons, whatever. Bear in mind, I did go- I want to collab with Trapstar. I don't know why I just said that. Okay. There a lot of times, like I didn't care like, that was one thing about me. You can't scare me because you're that person or you're from here or... I don't really give a damn. Do you understand? I always felt like mm, I can carry myself. So anyway, I went there with a few mates from school and we went there and I and we had a good time. There was a girl chatting to in there, ah, having fun. I all back my top of them days I had six packs, maybe eight. I don't know, I was very athletic, so I had the body. So in there drawing one girl, I don't know if it was the traveller's bird, but she was proper on me, like I had her in the air in the club. Like, ah, I don't know what I'm doing, lifting her up. Come I out now. And this guy's just watching me the whole time. He was a West West Ham boy as well, because I could see the tattoo was on his chest. Ooh, he was a hooligan. He had one in the vest and I could see that the West Ham badge. But back then I didn't really care about the badge thing. I didn't really know yeah. how hard West Ham was like that. Do you know what I mean? West so Ham come out. Too, yeah. Top. And they're like, yeah, them, him, that guy over there, draw my blah, 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 blah. come out. Top hooligan firm. So I, next minute, I'm like, what's the spell it on about? Come out of the club, um, shouting with this guy. Next minute, one fella's just gone woof on one boy's head. Axe stuck in his bloody head there. Oh yeah, my God. on my life, the axe was in his head, bleeding out. Whoever, whoever was around that day, I beg you comment on this one. Yeah, this is mad. Terrible, I've been through it. Hmm, one time on this show, I got more stories than that. Oh, like, I can't remember where I'm from. I'm from the rack, baby. Having to defend myself, having to defend other people around me. Like, man's been through it all. Like, I don't even know if you can still see the scar. Yeah. Yeah? So a man tried to swing a knife after my cousin. I put my arm in the way. Oh my God. Woof, hit me. I'm trying to protect my... Shannon, I got three fake teeth. Four root canals. My head was this big before. I got a cut right here. I got seven stitches on my lip. I had this knuckle was down here before. This knuckle, I don't even know if it's, it's not even functional no more. It's just a space. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that ain't nothing to boast about. I'm not here to glorify any of that type of stuff, but you know what I'm saying? We all been through that. We all been through that. I had eight pipes pulled on me. I've been S-H-O-T at. I've been, I've been, I've been, you know what I'm saying? I've been all of that. I've been through all of that. My own people's mad. But there's so many stories I can talk about what I was like back then, but I feel like my Came upbringing there, has made me who I am today. So like, yeah. I relate to the, the street kids. I relate to the, the, the youth, the, the youngsters, the whole, you know what I mean? What's going on now? Do you know what I mean? So because when, sorry, when did, when did you become so aware that this is like not the life? Um, when I had my first child, so... Oh one. man, I love this dude. Low-key, hey, no cap, no homo. Like, me and him got a very similar story, man. Like, I had my first child later in life, but, like, that's when it happened. Like, for me, it clicked. Like, I gotta get up out of this. This ain't the way, man. I'm walking around with a stroller with a 30 underneath. Just for the ops, just in case, you know what I'm saying? It's, that's not how... I, that was not comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Okay. When I had my... I do not condone that type of behaviour, but it is what it is. My daughter, I realised um, 
yeah, I need to stop this man, or it's just gonna end up prison or maybe too. death. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not, I don't want, I don't want to die. Do you know what I mean? No one wants to die. Do you know what I mean? So I had to just figure it out and say, do you know what? What's the best thing to do for me now to like move on with my life and not be in that? My mum um, got me an application, big up mumsy, uh, health and care. So I went straight into social care. I started doing um, that type of stuff, working with people with disabilities, mental health. Yeah, so I'm a social carer. I've got that as a MVQ3, level three. So yeah, I'm glad I did that for five years. I was happy with that. And then, yeah, I, I literally left that job. I ain't gonna lie, man. Me and this dude is so similar. We'd be best friends, like, low-key. I feel like I know, bro. Let me find LV. Because there was too much shit going on in there with the clients and other people, which I probably can't talk about now, but yeah. Um, and after that, I just went into doing retail because I just thought I need to get a job. And then before you know it, I went off, I, I, was, with, I was chilling with a um, friend of mine called Philly, young Philly. Um, and then he brought me to group chat and the rest was history. So like, it was literally within three months, I was working in Foot Asylum. I went there and next minute I was an ambassador for Foot Asylum. I'm not traveling the world. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, and I manifest a lot of stuff in my, with me. With me, I already said this, that um, when I hit 30, my life's gonna change. And that's what I did. And I think this is a message I'd would, I would put out to everyone and you yourself, that um, in life, you gotta go for it. Do you know what I mean? You can't sit there and just think it's gonna come to you because it doesn't. You gotta go for it. You gotta dream big. You gotta believe yourself. And you've gotta always, you know, always have faith in what you're. Who is this guy? I, have I reacted to his music before? On my second channel, which is Chicago Dude Reacts. Don't forget we are partnered with the Blueprint Mastermind. Matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? I got the podcast booming right here. Links down in the description. Any of my old videos, you can find them on my YouTube, on my Facebook. Got to mention that in the beginning. I was excited. I, I was mad, honestly, about her. I was mad when I came into this video, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. Bro, LV, whoever this guy is, I, I rock with it. I rock with it. It's a good dude. What you believe in. So if you think you're gonna make it, it's good just cat. Know for what good you cat. Are. Do you know what I mean? Don't start doubting yourself. Things will, may happen on your way up, and you might have these hurdles coming at you. But don't worry about that. Just think positive, and I'm, I guarantee you, your dream will come true. And, and that's what I did. I, I, I've always said to myself, I'm going to be someone, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. Do you know what I mean? Whether it was then or now or whenever, I know I'm going to do that. So you just got to believe in yourself. No, that's that, hold on, a really powerful speech. I really like that. Dream. No, no cap, no cap. Bro just really did, like, he, you could tell his mind is somewhere else. His mind is very elevated. Like he's funny. He's he got that. He got that. He's a funny dude, but he knows. He knows what's going on, bro. And and and, and just to highlight something he said, like I started envisioning stuff. Like like when I was younger, like I was you know fighting, doing this, doing that, doing that, all in these streets. But like something hit me, like where I just didn't want to like. Like, where am I going to end up? What's my outgo? What's my, what's my goals in life? And I just started believing in myself and just like, man, I could be met, met, better than this. I can really do something that I want to do. Like, and, and YouTube was never the path that I wanted to do. I didn't even know about YouTube until I was like 27. Honestly, I didn't know about this. I didn't know about this. And, 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 and But when I, once I found it, I was like, man, I'm, I got one of them personalities where I could be on here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. People gravitate towards me in real life, so you know the internet didn't be the same thing, right? And you know, just so happens it was. But I start moving with that. What's that rule? Where if you speak it into existence, it'll come, or like you just gotta speak it enough and it'll happen. Like I start living like that, and like low key, I looked up one day like, dang, I don't know what it is, but like prayer, consistently hard work, and Consistency and hard work that really be paying off, man. As long as you keep God first and, and you, and you really out here going, going hard for what you really want and trying to advance in life, bro, is spot on with that, man. This might be the longest grilling reaction I ever had. I don't care. Think big, think big, everything big. Even write it down on walls, wherever. Like make, make it become reality. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Put put yourself in the position that it is happening. 
Don't think, oh, I'm going to be this. I am. Yeah, yeah, don't speak with, yeah, when this, no, no, no. I, I, hey, at a point, I was already talking like I had a million subs. At a point, I was talking like I was a million, like, mm -hmm. I got to believe that this already happened. <laughs> I'm that person, yeah. do you understand? Yeah, I'm so, him. Yeah, I manifest a lot of things. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. Mm. I wasn't expecting this. Me neither. My friend used to pay. I honestly expected bro to be a clown. He came in with that Arsenal. <laughs> no, I'm just $163 for car insurance. <laughs> but I did, like, I seen some clips and I was like, oh, he's going to be a clown. But, like, this dude is woke. <laughs> There's an easier way to get Damn. cheaper. Yeah, why not? Yeah, just, really. It's trust. Why do you think I used the word trust earlier? Are you, are you lying? No, you I'm being real. You, why can't you be if I trust you? I'm friends with some of my exes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, some of my exes that I trust, exactly. But the ones that I don't, like, mm -mm, we good, but like, I'm cool with some of my exes. Like, why am I going to sit there and assume that, oh, you can't chat to your ex because you're going to do something? That means you shouldn't be with me. That means I shouldn't be with you. I don't trust you. Do you understand? And that, that there, that word trust, yeah, it means so much to the relationship. Yeah. Furthermore, that's probably one of the top things why a relationship works. This is, is this ultimate Riz right now? Bro, really want to, he, hey, he trying to marry Cheyenne. What's going on? Otherwise, balance. Do you know what I mean? So if I don't trust you, you don't trust me. Why are we here? Facts. Yeah, like that. Cheyenne is wet. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even see the Would question. You... I'm so funny. Would you give your phone passcode to your partner? This goes back to trust. Like, if I, if I want your phone, if I ask you for your phone passcode, then I obviously don't trust you and we don't need to be here. But if you want my phone passcode, go ahead. You're going to find what you're looking for. <laughs> No, I'm just playing. That's the toxic in me. But no. If I'm in a relationship, I'm in a relationship. Hands down. So go ahead. Ball out. Look dumb. Would you not? No. What about the trust? See, so you want trust, but you won't give me your phone password. Okay. No, see, now, now I get it. But it is a, it's, a, it's mine. Now, you do got to set boundaries in a relationship. If I give you my phone one time, you're going to think you could do this, this type of things all the time. You know what I'm saying? So I get why he put no, but at the same time, you know, if I'm in a relationship, I don't really care. If that's what you feel like, that, that, if you ask me for my phone, it's a clue to me that you're doing something behind my back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, the reason why is that's privacy. Okay. Like, you've got your privacy, I've got mine. It's about trust. It's yeah. not about being nosy and being my phone, being my shit, being my stuff, so I might wind you up for no reason. Yeah. Then it causes an argument for no reason. Then we're in a situation for no reason. Like, I've got a group. Can't lie. So the lads putting it out there. there. The, uh, yeah, girls got their group, man got their group. Pictures get sent in, information's getting mentioned. You know what I mean? You might see something through the, fam the, um, the photo library thing. Boom. And then it causes a problem. But... Personally, it's not, there's nothing wrong with me giving you the phone. It's the fact that there's trust here. So if I tell you something, you should take my words for it. If you don't trust me, then there's a problem. Yeah. Do you understand? So giving you the phone is not an issue. I'd just rather not because I don't want this trust hold thing to go down the drain because you saw something. What's that? You're chatting to my girl again and go I'm not on all that. Don't, yeah. I don't want to hear that. Do you get me? Just trust me. I'm not doing nothing wrong. So there's nothing going on there. If you don't trust me, babes, just, just call it quits. Do you know uh, what I mean? Yeah, That's yeah, it, just yeah. be real. Mm. She don't like that. Wait, wait, would you consider yourself good and bad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A to Z, I'm doing it all. Balls. Not all, not all, of, not all, of, not the sus stuff, but you know. The skills, bro. Yeah. Can I ask you where first? Yeah, because uh, I can go sleep for a solid eight hours a night. You can go <laughs> what? <laughs> to sleep for eight hours solid all night. To do I'm good in bed, good at sleeping. I actually tried to do the trick thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's dead, I want a bit Bed, good at sleeping. I actually tried to do the trick thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's dead, I want a better answer than that. No, 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 it's your turn, I answered your that turn. That is dead, That's not. A That's dead, I want a 
Team Pets. Good. She definitely finessed an answer out of here. I'm trying to take a pigeon. All of us on a little date. <laughs> You're sleeping. No, no, God, that's your turn. I answered your turn. That time. is dead. That's not enough. That, how's anyone going to know where you're at in I'm going life? to bed because I can sleep. <laughs> ah, listen, I'm going to bed because I can sleep. Well, I'll tell you what. I watch a lot of porn, so... You watch a lot of porn? I do. I'm not even going to lie. I'll put it out there. Porn can obviously help you in certain places in the room. Yeah? You know that room, the boom, boom room. Not really. It just gives you new, like, positions. But it gives you a false, a false hope at what's really going on in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh -huh. when you're in there, there's certain things you're doing and porn is the reason why you're doing that. Or the other side is porn can make you do things you shouldn't be doing. Putting your in the bum bum, don't do that. Putting your mouth in the pum pum, we can't do. Do you understand? There's, there's, it's just what you take from it. Me, I like watching gangbang, so I can see all of it in one. <laughs> <laughs> I love Riley Reed. Oh man, that's funny. <laughs> oh, I watch man. specific things like the um well am I allowed to say what poems I watch on there? Yeah. yeah. I'm like an idiot for saying it. Go on. But I basically I watch like the gang bang that like, I know it's mad, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah don't do that. Go but on. I basically I watch like the gang bang that like, <laughs> <I know. laughs> Hey Ooh. No, it's mad, yeah. I watch Bear Man digging up gang. So I, I... Why do you like to see that many shafts in one time? Like, what's going on? I, I, I want to know who's doing what. You see me, I'm one of them. I'm very, like, if I, if I was the cameraman, I'd be gassed because I'm like, Rock, what's he doing to this one? He's digging out a troll. Next one. Pfft. Techniques. I'm there analysing the room. Just put me in the, uh, the gangbang settings. Bear gal, there's Chinese gal, Indian gal, white gal, Turkish, whatever gal is in the room, and bear man are just whacking up the place. Whoa, 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 whoa. Throw over there, mate. Whoa. That one, bang, bang, doom. I, I, I'm, there's so much going on, and there's so much I'm taking in from it. It's like... Okay, you're like a little detailed, ain't you? Then I'll start thinking, well, wow, that position looks kind of odd still. Yeah, I'm going to try that one out. And then I'm just learning a lot from one vid. Why? <laughs> is that bad? I mean, that's mad, you know, because not a lot of men will say that. They watch Gang Bang. I watch the bangers. I watch Bear Gal getting mashed out, blood. I'm glad that you're taking inspiration. Yeah, but, like... But I don't think porn's a good teacher. I think it gives unrealistic expectations on sex. I told you. Because half the time, it's a fake orgasm. You reckon? Yeah, because, like, who really has got no, energy no, to, they, like, fake, like, have sex These gal ain't faking it. That, that man are digging out, gal. There's no fake... Pause, bro. Your mind is... You, nah, nah, nah. Ain't no way she faking that. He... Hey, look. Look, bro, laying it down, ain't he? Pause. <laughs> in this one, I'm not I'm being real with you. Dead serious, gal, are balling in it, like. But this is what, but this, but this is probably why you don't eat. Why? Because it's kind of you're just watching men just having sex. And I haven't got digging a fetish around. for that though. That's what I'm saying. But maybe if you watched it and watched more like intimate. I things don't like and the not babes. I'll be real. I don't. There's too much layers of skin. I've seen, like I've seen the pump pump. And I've seen there's different sizes, different shapes, different skins, different layers. Some gal have hangy, some gal have baggy, some gal have was just stretched out or the little line and that. They even try to fancy it up with the little hair above it and whatever. You get me? There's bare types of pumps, but I still don't like the fact that there's layers. I want to reboot the old sitcom Step Right Up, and I want to do it with the original cast. I ain't gonna lie, bro, it's funny. He's hilarious. Not swimming, stop it. No. Look, is anyone else seeing this? Yes. It's skin on skin on skin. You go through one, there's another layer, another layer. You're, you're digging through the walls, bro. Like, that's long. I, personally, I just don't like the look of pussy. I'm sorry, girls, man. I'm so sorry. I just don't like the look like a pussy. It's got nothing to do with you. I like the look of you. Nah, I still like you. Still, you're still attracted, <laughs> but I mean, just, I just don't want to look at that. Like, don't, you, don't you think things don't look a bit weird sometimes? No, I just feel like that? women's bodies are like, do you like sexy. Feet? Yeah, I like feet. What don't you like on the body? No, I like all bodies. So you don't, some some not bodies one, look different. There's right? not something what you don't like on a body. So like, see me, is the thing I don't like. That's the only thing. <laughs> this is getting real questionable. LV. The thing I don't like is on the body is the 
I like your bum, titties, your like, mouth, your ears, your nose, your whatever it is. But that's I like the it. best part of a woman. No, yes, it it's is. not. The best yeah, part of your woman it's like is, is, your your, womanhood. is your features, is here. What I'm looking at now, that's your best part of your body. No, it's definitely a vagina. No, <laughs> Thank it you. Is. Yeah. No, it is. You put yourself down. A pussy don't look better than your face. That is, that is mad. He really feels strong about this. Does her face is nice. You've got a nice face to look at. But if you're saying you're better than your face, there's something going on down there. That, that pussy is out of this world. She's in another dimension then. That pussy ain't a planet pussy. It's a Venus pussy. Like a piss pussy. What you find out of, the, out of this season. That, that type of pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. I really don't know. She can't say her pussy's better than her face. If that's the case, then we need to see more pussy face, girl. <laughs> yeah, we need to see more girls who's got pussy face. Like, I don't know. I understand. No, what I'm saying is, like, a vagina, like, for a woman, mm -hmm. I think it's the most amazing thing because you can push children out of there. Of course it is. see the life. It's like, not for eating, is it? Out of there, of course, let it me is. see the life. Like, it's not for eating, is it? I think it's the most amazing thing because you can push children out of there. Of course, let it me is. see the life. It's like, not for eating, is it? Yeah, it is. It's not. Just, you don't it's not food it. down there. We just, you should know already that downstairs is for down. You see what's happened? You know what's happened? Porn's for everyone's Did, in. You're the one that watches porn. I know, by I, know. The way. I heard that. You're and I'm back to, back to backtrack on it and tell you why. Porn's for everyone's head, yeah, because years ago, this was in place about yamming oomps is a, is a, is a virus. It was, like, it's a bad thing to do. But because pawns come along and men are doing bum bum, licking bum, eating toes, sucking bum Treat bum. Us. No, I don't eat bum. Do my mouth smell? <laughs> I'm not that, I don't. Say I'm eat batty, they might stink. I ain't that shit. I know from far away man's eating bottom. Do you get me? Like, I know these things. So, no, nah, bum bum can't go in my face. I don't mind squeezing bum and <laughs> checking sizes and weight, but there's no bum in my face business going on. But it just looks ugly. I'm being dead serious. Like, I know girls are going to be looking at what? So you don't like my you know? I don't need to see it. I don't need to see it. I don't want to see it. It's calm anyway, like, at the end of the day, girls, we didn't have a whole 15 minute conversation. I think the look of it is is a wonderful thing. Some of the, some of the time, not all of them, but you know, all of them are not created equal. I agree, but you know, there's a lot more to man yamming pumps, Brad. So. Yeah, but it's like it's just like a sensual moment, like tantra. If you do like tantric sex, that's why I'm lipsing tongue to tongue. Yeah, I but don't you start like from that. the toes. I don't even like putting tongues in mouths. That's all liquidy and. Really? Too you much noise. It's too much. Noise. It's all sounding like you're eating food. Do you get me? The only thing I should be hearing like that is when you're down there. That's all I want to hear is. Whoa. Wait a minute, bro. The only thing I should be hearing like that is when you're down there. That's all I want to hear is going on there. I'm actually lost for words. Like, what? What? I don't get it. Too much going on down there. Way too much. Even just thinking about it now, like, of the and the way it looks. I can't do that, man. That, that's a phobia, blood. That's a, like, I've actually <laughs> got, like, a serious shit. Like, I'm being dead serious with you, lot. When I look... I can't believe bro is in her face telling her this. I mean, it is what it is. You feel how you feel about it. Let me go look at her one more time. Let me go look at that. <laughs> Let me go look one more time. I don't want to see that, don't want to see that, don't want to see that. Do you have not, like, a personal IG? Why do I have to see? Okay, there we go. What? I instantly... I ain't gonna do it. Let's look at Pum Pum, yeah? I do not get attracted. But if I look at your face and your breasts and your back, I'm like, Ugh! I'm gassed, I'm all... Raw, you get me? But the reaction from you going, if a girl was to send me a pum pum and it's all, you're showing me shit. I'm, I'm from you going, if a girl was to send me a pum pum and it's. <laughs> Bro literally was sitting there like this and he said. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh man, this has turned into the most sus grilling I've ever seen. So you're showing me shit. I'm, I'm, 
Void. I'm not. I don't even want to be a part of it again. It's like it's a it's a default. Dead. I don't want it. It's, don't let me see it again. Do you get me? I don't even have to text my guy Bays. I'm not into that. That I'll have to say it straight away. Yeah. Straight up. I can't. I don't like the look of it. I do not like the look of pumps. I'll be dead serious. This is why my slogan is lump it, slump it. My brothers don't eat. But we just say crumpets for the fucking kids, the viewers. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, we don't eat that because I don't like it. If they do, I'm upset that I have to be like this about it because that fucks me up for, for fucking, you know, certain girls, they don't want to suck my old cause of that, but yeah. it's fine. It's calm, I'm not here for that. I'll, I'll, I'll just, you get me, if we're having sex, you're going to enjoy yourself that much that you probably end up sucking it anyway. Right. Mm. I have a prediction for you, for your net worth. He said what he said, man. Do I agree with it? Uh, nah, I ain't moving like that. But he said what he said. I, me personally, I'm a family person. I want a large family. I want more kids. But um, but with only one other one other woman. I got a baby mama. It's not gonna work. I don't know. Maybe not. Probably not. So only one other woman. I'm getting married to her, and we having in a crazy amount of <laughs> kids. Period. Without doubt. Yeah. Without doubt, man. Family come first, man, all the time. Do you know what I mean? My mum's not really 100% at the moment. And do you know what I mean? I lost my dad two years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. So, no, no, don't be, man. It's fine. Covid, innit? That's what they said it was, but I don't believe it is. But yeah, freaking family come first to me, man. I don't really get, I shouldn't even mention this, but I don't really get on with my sister as much. Oh, but really? I'll hope one day the that subject change things is crazy. will change between me and her. Do you know what I mean? I feel like this is a good platform to mention it in because everyone will listen to this. And yeah, man, I love her to bits. I love all my family, I love everyone. It's just sometimes I tend to clash. I don't know if it's a, for, for brother and sister thing where she's only a few, like one year older than me and I'm the, I'm the youngest, so. So a personality clash then? Yeah, literally. I don't know why though, because everyone says we're alike in, in different ways. That's probably why. Yeah, but man, just I wish all the best in life, man. I, I, I just wish that we had a bit of connection because we're the only two who've got the same dad. Oh. So I just feel like we need to connect better. Mm. I don't want to have a problem with my family. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm a very family guy. So if that was one thing I would say what is personal to me, yeah, it's my family. And I hope one day that me and my sister do, you know, solve this situation that we're in right now because it's been going on for a couple of years that we just don't see eye to eye. And it's not good, man. It's not healthy. Yeah. Especially where the the kids want to talk to each other. She's got two of her own as well, and one of her kids remind me of mine. So it's like we have yeah. things in common. So we just need to put it in a bud, move on from wherever it is, and start fresh. Oh, so if you, you are watching, sis, man loves you, innit? Mm. Mm. This one's a bit, you know, it's coming from home. Um, Bro, plan this out. He went from not eating, you know what I'm saying, to, to this, which is deep. Like, people forgot about what he was just saying. Now they know what it is. It's like, dang, heartfelt. Good cat. And if you're not from Chicago, I don't know if y'all think cap is created where y'all think it's from, but that's from Chicago. Cap, good cap, bad cap. It's from Chicago. See, y'all don't even know what good and cap. Y'all don't even know how to decipher the two. There's good cap and there's bad cap. Good, bad cap is mean you just lying. You're lying, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. Now, good cat, you could be lying, but it's working. <laughs> it's working. It's almost believable. And also, good cap is what he's doing right now. You know, it's, it's good. It's good. I'm bigging myself. I'm making myself look <laughs> amazing. Good cat. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't want to say your name on the camera, obviously, just to put you on blast, but... You know what I'm saying to you, innit? Like, like I said earlier in the show, um, yeah, man, I just want things to get better between us, man. Yeah? Like, man loves you to bits. Like, you're my blood. If I, I have every, all the siblings, you are my blood. Do you understand? So... Full blood. Yeah, man. I just hope things work out and... Yeah, man, I love you, innit? That's what I can say, man. I don't, I don't want to talk too much on the subject, or you're very... You might come see me and slap me around my face for it, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know, but yeah. I'm just putting it out there, man. I love you, sis. Life, life's really too short, so I really hope he like builds that relationship back with his sister. She really ain't got nothing to say, but she just enjoying this. 
She about this is only it's the best date she ever had. Um, have you ever suffered with mental health? Personally, me, I don't think I have because I've got a good family and the right people around me to help me get through certain times in life. There has been low times in life when I... Man, yes. For me, yes. I felt like, fuck it all. I don't want to yeah. do nothing. Do you know what I mean? I just want to just get away from the world. Yeah. But you can't live like that. That's good. What's your thoughts on, like, top... Hold on, hold on. For me, yes. Uh, when I had my first... When I had my child... You know, you know, you think it's gonna be a certain way. You think your your, your partner is gonna be a certain way, but mine wasn't there at all. You know, what I'm saying, not knocking her now. She's an amazing mother now. But at first, I, it was only me. So the mental strain I had on myself, it was crazy. Very like depressed. Um, just felt alone. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I had to do what I had to do as a man. I had to take care of what I have my responsibilities. But since we on the subject. And also, I got PTSD from living in Chicago. So, well, I'm not there no more, but, you know, when I was there, and every time I go back, it's peak. <laughs> Toxic masculinity, because I kind of find, like... You can't live like that. That's good. What's your thoughts on, like, toxic masculinity? Because I kind of find, like, it's a lot harder for men mm -hmm. to open up. Yeah, because I was so angry when I was young, it's like, I never knew that crying would solve certain things. And like, if you build it up too much, yeah, it's like it, we sit there and hold back certain things we might want to talk about, yeah. but we can't because we're feeling like we can't as the, as the alpha, you feel like you shouldn't. Yeah. But you don't realise that like, crying sometimes in a quiet place, you don't have to cry in front of no one. You could cry to yourself. You could be sat and looking into the skies, look at stars or whatever, and have that moment, do you know what I mean? What I will say is... A lot of these documentaries, man, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these documentaries I'll be watching, they be getting the best of me, man, because they be kids and whatnot. Or, or when I watch The Lion King, anytime I watch The Lion King, it's going, it, 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 it get me. The, the original one, the cartoon, it get me every time, man. I ain't even going to hold you. That, that. For some reason, man, it's just a story of a family. It's a story of, like, I don't know, that, that be getting me. You get me? But, you know. Being a man of the house at such a young age, when your mom is alone, like, you ain't got time. You ain't got time to show emotions. You ain't got time to be like that. You can't be weak. You know what I'm saying? Is it, does it make you weak to be upset? Does it make you weak? That's the new, that's the, the feeling, but now I know better than that. To tell your girl that you're upset, yeah? It doesn't make you weak to, to shed tears, bro. That's a part of life. We're human beings. I will never shed tears in front of my girl. But get, get, let's get that clear. Never. It's never what happened. Because it does something to them. <laughs> it does something to them to see you cry. Like, like let's be a buck. Yeah, do something to them to make, to see they, the man that they count on, the man that they, they cry on, they show, it does something to them. Like, mm. <laughs> even if it's not outright, it's subconsciously, it do something to them. I think your woman will probably um, respect you more is if you open up more. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I can open up without crying. Right. I'm, I, you know what I'm saying? So, personally, this whole being a bad man or being the man who doesn't cry doesn't always go the way you planned it. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's times when you don't need to cry. There's times when to show that side where... Yeah, I've just got, knowing when to be vulnerable and then when to saying? get let it together. Let it, be, let it be normal. Let it come out like how it should do. If you feel like you need to cry, my brother, barn. No, see, is what I'm saying. I love a man that's emotionally available. That's just how I see it, yeah? And it, I'm emotionally available, but I'm not crying. There's nothing wrong with a big man crying. Yeah, I like that. Girls be begging me. Do you feel like you need to cry? Just cry. No, for what? <laughs> Why do you want me to drop a tear so bad? Like, chill out. What would you do if I was going on a girls' holiday every other month? Every other month, babes. That's wild. Every other month, you single, you cheating. <laughs> Birds of a feather flock together, don't they? Yeah, every you think you're other single? month. I'll probably go on holidays with you then. I'm rolling like, what? What man must sit back and chill? What? You never said I can't come. Yeah. Do you know the ones there? Like, I'll roll in it. Like, what? Where are you going? Yeah, yeah. My, me and my boys are rolling then, sort of thing. But if I feel like I'm overdoing it, then I'll fall back. But every month, What's so important about flying away every month? I don't know. What, what is the buzzer for that? 
I don't get it. You answer that question for me. Like, your final every month. We're gonna pre- we're gonna play it out like you're there already, yeah? So boom. Babes, uh, I, I'm not feeling that you're going away, babes, with your friends all the time. I just have a very demanding career, babe. I just need a little break. A break? From what? From who? Me? From work. From work? No. Okay, so is it alright if I come along? I make a lot of my income right here. This is one of my... Good question, gang. Is it okay if I come or not? <laughs> Guess you can. Yeah, well then that's fine. If... Okay, alright, cool. She's... I watch a lot of these and it's never been... He's... Nobody on that side of the table, uh, LV is on, has never put it like that. So they, so the, the question has never been raised, I don't think, can I come? So yeah, if I can come, shoot, whatever, let's go. See you, you're, it's fair play, I like that. Because most girls would say, it's the girls, you know, duh, 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 I don't want to be caught up and the, but you're cool. So in that sense of what you've answered, then it's fine, isn't it? Like, we, you can do the girls' holiday as long as I can come. Yeah, holiday every month's a myth. If I'm not going, allow it. Don't even tell me about it. When I didn't live in Miami, I would come to Miami every month because I did have a demanding work schedule and I lived in Chicago and I needed to get away from that. Um, my life was a lot peaceful, so I understand. <laughs> so, yeah, as long as I can go, though. If you're gonna go away for every month, yeah, I'm gonna start setting up cameras and shit in your bag on your clothes and your phone and all them foolish things. You're gonna start making me be insecure of myself. Do you understand? So please, louder every month thing. Sometimes chill out or bring me along in it. Put me in the suitcase. I don't mind coming home. I mean, coming out with you on holiday. What would you do if I had an OnlyFans? Um, that's a kind of a no-go unless I'm in it. Do you know what I mean? If you're doing an OnlyFans, I want to be involved. Like, don't do it without me. Like. We do things together. Okay. Like, so if you got OnlyFans, <laughs> it's not a joint venture. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I want to have a bit of fun as well with you. So yeah, I won't look at it as a no-go. But if you've got it before I met you, then that's what you did before I met you. So it if, wouldn't be an issue. No. Nah, if you so have you'd it, still wife me. Of course I will because that's what I was getting into. Oh, I'm really surprised. I wasn't expecting him to be this. Ma- Man, I guess. I guess the way he put it. Like, shoot, if I met you and I knew already, then it is what it is. Just like you met me and you knew who I was, so it is what it is. But if you just jump into that while we together, oh, we got to do it together. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> Mature? I already knew what you was doing before I come to you. So this is the mistake what girls make. They tend to get with guys and expect them to change. They expect them to be the person they want. Mm. Yeah, but when you met me, what was I like? What was my profile? Do you know what I'm saying? Deep what you're getting yourself into before getting into it. Yeah, that's another message, ladies. Yeah. But yeah, personally, no problem. If we wanted to do OnlyFans tomorrow, as long as you're involved and I'm in it, right. then we're good. I don't mind. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's a bit of an adventure for me as well, isn't it? So. Okay. Mm. What would you do if I couldn't cook? I can cook, by the way, so that's can not you? a problem. Yeah, 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 I'm a bit of a chef. Nah, no, no. If you can't cook, I'm sorry, I can cook too. But, like, if you can't cook, I'm going to be a buck. I almost don't even want you if you can't cook. Like, I, that, that's that's a hard pass for me because I'm, I be liking to eat. I like to eat. So, if you can't cook, yo, yo, honestly, if you can't cook, you better be a Diamond Uber, Diamond, Diamond Uber Eats member. Diamond. You better be the top tier member on Uber Eats, and and every night that you can't cook, order your order us food, please. Not on my tab. That's your fault. You can't cook. Order food, please. Myself. So, okay. one of my older sisters are actually a, a professional chef, anyway. So, oh, nice. I've learned a lot. Ah, oh, so if I couldn't, years. so if I couldn't, would you teach me? Yeah, or would you of expect course. me to cook? I wouldn't expect you to cook at all. Some girls I know can't cook for shit. It's not a problem that you can't. I'll teach you. And I'm, I'm like that. I'm that type of guy that I got taught from my sisters. Calm, leave it to me. Furthermore, I like to cook. Oh, really? But yeah, I like to cook still, so. See, I can cook, but I don't like to cook. It's a thing. <laughs> it's not a problem. If you want to cook something, I'll teach you how to cook it. What if I came into the relationship and was like, ah, I can't work. <laughs> I can't provide. And we connect. That's a different connection, do you know what I mean? Cooking together, is it's just another level of intimacy, I get it. Fun. Do you yeah. know what I mean? When I cook with my daughter, I have a lot of fun. Because it's just, it's just bare different things. Like, grab that, go there, cut this, do that. It's, it's enjoyment in that, do you know what I mean? So I, I definitely wouldn't mind cooking food and teaching you how to cook food still. That's nice. 
Okay, what would you do if I'd slept with one of your ops? Ooh, baby. No way. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Look at his face. Wow. That's like me, it's Michael, sleeping with Tottenham, man. It don't work. You can't do it's that. Over. Don't sleep with the f ops, man. That's a madness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the questions is debatable. This is not debatable. It's a... You can't... No, I'm good. I might, I might do you too, but we can never be together. And then you want to try and relationship with me? I don't know if the ops is trying to plan to pick me off. The back that's door, yeah. So that's before we met, yeah? Yeah. All right. Be no, real, be that's real. a bit of a slap in the face, really. Really? Yeah, because you see with men, yeah? It's true, though. It's hard to say, no, I wouldn't care, because you do. That's a bit of a mad thing. Like, now I've got to adjust the whole situation. So, like, okay. That's got nothing to do with me, but at the same time, that girl's gonna chat about you to me. Yeah. Do you understand? That brother is gonna tell me, man put his dick in you, and done did, 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 and now I'm sitting there with it. Really, I shouldn't be bothered. I should be like, oh, whatever, man, that was you, then me now. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but it'll but just destroy your ego a little. It destroys something, because now I know someone else has had you before me who I don't like, do you know what I mean? And it's the same for girls. Girls take it very, very, you know what I mean? It's serious. If I had sex with one of your friends and now you've met me and then she tells you, oh, by the way, I've had sex with him. I suck his dick last week, whatever, whatever's happened. You are going to be annoyed by that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just going to play on your mind that, oh, you was there. But saying that, not everyone's the same. That's just me. Do you know what I mean? Nah, you dead. Nah, brody, <laughs> you're right. Everyone is the same in that boat. I don't care. I mean, that's my own opinion. How do you think you've done on the day? Um, I think I've been, I think I've been real with you, you know? And that's only because of the energy you're giving me, is that, yeah, man, just be real with you, man. You like real guys, I can tell. Yeah, it's been a good day. You know I mean, I feel comfortable. I feel, I, I feel like you've learnt a lot about me, not so much about you, mm -hmm. but it's fine, though, because I feel like that's, the whole point I've come on it is to tell you who I am. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? So hopefully I have done well. Yeah. I don't know. Well, cheers. I hope you're not just saying it. No, you and, have. And it's a rag of muffin <laughs> drink you give me. Not Maga Muffin, sorry, man. That mug empty. Maga Muffin. <laughs> Raga tonic wine. So you, <laughs> you have all cheers. You get me, but no, nah, man. I, I, a lot of people don't. Would you cheers with her? You don't get to see me like this. Do you know what I mean? Everything's just jokes and banter and ah, making up bare noise. I felt like now I've showed you the other side to man, what people have been looking into, they can now see that actually the, this guy is actually a nice guy. Yeah, you got some depth. Do you know what I mean? So that means oh, I can get gal then, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> he came on here with a plan. <laughs> I do it. I do it. You came on here with a plan, Ellen. You. Hey, you said I'm gonna show my heart. Listen to my heart, ladies. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, I love that. that? Yeah, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm empty now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great time, you know. I feel like he has got a lot of substance. Bang it! Oof! That date there was 10-10. I've been on a date for ages, you lot. Yeah, I'd see him again. Yeah, I would. Go fishing. Oh yeah, I'll go fishing if he wants to take me. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna link up again anyway. She's got, she's already told me now. I'm definitely meeting up with you. Definitely gonna go on a little spontaneous thing with you. We might just do some fucking climbing or something. I don't know. I don't. Fishing. fishing. Yeah, that's it. She wants to go fishing with me, so I'm gonna take her fishing. Do you know what? I feel like he was so real. It was hard to grill him. Um, she's gonna rate, man. Uh, cool. My ratings today will probably be in the 8, 9, 10 section just because I know that she was attracted to what I was saying, innit? So, yeah, like, I, most girls would have said 8, 9 or 10 because I'm a real guy, do you get me? I keep it real and I keep it 100, so... See, what realness gets you, it gets you far. Yeah, man. If you don't rate me no higher than an 8, 9 or 10, then I don't know what happened in the date. I must have not liked you. Do you know what? I had a really good time. I feel like he was a bit immature when it was the whole eating pussy thing. But the conversation flowed, I feel like it's... Cheyenne, I'm a grown man. <laughs> he's got a lot of substance and depth to him, and he's a family man, so for that, I'm going to give LV an 8.5. Sneak Boo had a 9.4? Sneak Boo. Family man, so... So for that, I'm going to give LV an 8.5. I got to go see this. I got to watch this, even if it's just for me. 9.4 from this? Uh, he must have had ultimate riz, man. Tell her leave a like, comment. I'm gone.